So me and Teddy are at it again here in the Pine Barrens and uh, we're gonna be checking some shingle piles and stuff like that. We're really just going to the beach for the weekend, but uh, it's been pretty wet out lately. Post hurricane, we thought we'd do some coastaling. Um, and a uh, little tip. So he's got his socks and shoes duct taped to each other. You can buy permethrin. It's not for your skin, it's for your clothes. It's like a really powerful insect repellent. Definitely not good for you. Do not put it on your skin. Yeah, do not put it on your skin. But uh, it's really good for ticks. It's seed tick season down here, or it's becoming seed tick season, meaning that um, all the little tick larvae are hatching and they're like impossible to, like you'll get tons of them on you. So we're gonna walk through this grass to get there. Ready. Got a lint roller on the ready, so uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh, skink. Nice. Sorry. Another skink. Oh, another skink. That's a baby skink. That's like perfect coastal food. It's nice and warm in here. Moist down here. All right, the amount of trees and stuff on the road is like comical. We've got the Hulk over here, just. All right, uh, we're in Cape May County, and I just flipped this board right here, and between the two boards was this little Cape May County Coastal. Oh my God, it's yellow and red. It does need to shed, but oh my God, dude. Look at that. Beautiful. That is nuts. That is crazy. Dude, I told you, I knew we would find one. Oh my God, dude. Holy smokes. All right, so uh, yeah, we found a Cape May County Coastal. That's pretty sick. So for those of you that don't know, um, the Coastal Plains Milk Snake is an Eastern Milk Snake, um, basically, that lives in the Coastal Plains of, uh, here comes a car gonna pass me. It lives in the uh, Coastal Plains of like Virginia kind of, but more so Maryland and some of Delaware and New Jersey. Um, and they're considered really, really rare depending on where you are. The pinnacle is, is uh, St. Mary's County, Maryland, or just any of the Maryland coastals. And then in New Jersey, they're considered a little bit easier to find, but Cape May County is like the pinnacle of New Jersey coastals. They're very hard to find in Cape May County, um, and they're often the prettiest. That one was in shed, um, but about to shed, so... Uh, we let it go and hopefully we're gonna come back in a couple days and maybe it will still be there and have shed. We'll see. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. We're gonna call it, we're, we're going to the beach for the weekend, but on the way back from the beach on Sunday, we're probably gonna uh, check things out again, see what we can do. All right, so we had our uh, weekend at the beach there, which was super fun. Uh, we went fishing, it wasn't anything reptile related, but what we did see, along with many other things, was started off the day with a huge leatherback sea turtle, the first I've ever seen, which was honestly awesome. I got a little video clip on my phone that I'll put in right now. Uh, oh Woo! my God. Oh, oh my Woo! God. Look, 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 he's right there. He's right there. It's not anything spectacular, but you know, you get the idea. And then later we saw a big loggerhead. Um, and 
pretty great fishing. We were catching mahi. We were way out there. We saw a uh, hammerhead. It was all cool stuff. But um, now that we're done with that, we're gonna head back into the Pine Barrens here, and uh, we're gonna see if we can find any more milk snakes or anything like that. So we're gonna start off flipping some cover, and then eventually we are going to go cruising up into the middle of the Pine Barrens. So uh, should be cool. Let you guys know. All right, so Chris just flipped this really nice little coastal. Um, we're down here in Cumberland County. This thing is nice. Super, super nice one. That little aberrant band. Got some nice little yellow coming through. That is a nice milk. Love it. Got a nice face to it. All right, we're gonna take some pictures of this guy and then let him go. Look at this thing, check that out. All right, well, it's uh, starting to pour a little bit, but we're gonna try to outrun the rain. I'm sure it's just scattered thunderstorms and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna check some more piles and stuff like that. Some of the sun, same stuff we hit the other day. You know, maybe uh, maybe there's another snake there. Who knows? Um, yeah, and then we'll head north through the Pine Barrens and uh, do some road cruising. Should be cool. So uh, it was fun meeting up with uh, Chris and Sean for a little bit and uh, they found that nice milk. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna uh, head north from the Southern Pine Barrens and uh, see what we can do up in the heart of the Pine Barrens. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll cruise something. So uh, we'll keep you posted. Got a timber here that another car rolled up on. Nice big old timber. We'll move them out of the road in a sec because we don't want them to get hit. Uh, I've yeah. done it with two other ones so far this spring. They, I have a dog yard right here. I don't want them. Yeah, it's a big male. You know, if you want, we can help you with that, I guess. Uh, which, I mean, if you're gonna, are you gonna move, you're gonna move them on that side? Yeah, I was gonna put them that way. Yeah, do that. If he comes over here again, I'll just have to, I don't know if it's the same one or just multiple. Yeah, probably multiple. What? That's what I told you. Yeah. Uh, I can hear him. Oh, there's no owner. It's a wild snake. <laughs> Alright, should we just move him out? Yeah, I got a picture of him. Alright, this guy is moving off the road safely. It's kind of an ordeal. We had to kind of escort him across because uh, there's a lot of traffic here. We didn't want him getting hit. Big old male. Very cool. Barely rattled. Never struck once. Where are you guys from? You guys from out here? Uh, North Jersey. All right, well. We do this. We rehabilitate rattlesnakes out here. Oh, yeah? We rehabilitate rattlesnakes. They fun to play with, though. We've relocated them. We've got a nice calm one tonight, okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice calm one. And not that he's striking at your face. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, cool that he's off the road. He's like, Tom, stop. He's like, I know they got a rattlesnake. Nice. Oh, 
All right, so that was pretty sick. Uh, barely been cruising. Just at the cusp of dark, we get a massive, massive male timber rattler. That, I'm sorry if the footage of that was terrible, and I did not even, I didn't even take my camera out just because it was hectic. There were some cars whizzing by, some stopped for, stopped for a traffic jam. We weren't even the first people to see it, and that's, that's what really pleasantly surprises me is when people stop for big snakes like that in the road, big rattlesnakes. Way too often people run them over on purpose, but you just had good Samaritans that were stopped there. I happened to, uh, be able to escort him off the road a little bit, usher him off so he didn't get hit. I know it's a state endangered species and all, but you know, I don't want that thing getting hit. And uh, yeah, we just sent that guy on his way and we're gonna keep cruising, pretty awesome. All right, we just cruised a nice, very beautiful little king snake. Look at that. Look at that. This is an awesome night. Timber then King. I thought Teddy was messing with me because he just pranked me with the uh... beauty. We were just saying we haven't seen a King in a little bit. Really? Yeah, I'm really fucking light. This little guy is safely moving off the road. Figuring out where he's gonna go. Cool, we're gonna let him be and uh, awesome. What a snake. Let's keep cruising for a little bit. Well, stuff's still moving. This is the next snake of the night and it's a little red bellied snake. We see lots of these guys here. This is actually like the king snake food, basically. Pick this guy up and move him off the road. Little guy still moving. I'm sure you, if you've seen my videos, you've seen these snakes before, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time with him and we're just gonna pull him off the road. Pretty cool. Keep going, little dude. Ugh. All right, so the last snake we saw was that red bellied snake and we ended up heading home. Uh, that was a pretty awesome weekend with uh, two lifer turtles, which were both sea turtles. My first ever uh, Cape May County Coastal Plains Milk Snake. Another crazy coastal, a giant timber rattlesnake, and a beautiful little king snake. Um, Alright, if you like this video, you can like it. That'd be helpful. You can also comment and subscribe if you're new. But uh, thanks for watching.